mistake by one of the riders could oh no fall that looks serious a little too wide whoa high mechanism of injury now it's time to rescue another rider All right, everybody, what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about this video. It's, we're not even going to pause it. Maybe we will a few times, but this is going to be a very interesting video. Uh, I think Max Risk is in this one and a few others. So let's do it. Thanks, Moto Stars. Here we go. Stinger ZX-10R going a lot of fast speeds and things. Able to see him in this speed and to react. 169, nice. All right, a little bit too fast. Can't see anything inside of the vehicle. That person saw him, saved this motorcycle rider's life. Very dumb on this rider. Two wheels, no problems. Okay. Let's see if we do have a problem. Whoa, a little 370Z going by. Exciting. Okay, nice wide U-turn. That is about, you know, 40 feet. Uh, make sure you guys be able to do it in 20 feet. We can teach you how to do that. Oh, wear gear. Whoa, we can teach you how to do that on motorcycle training concepts. You didn't even see that, huh? We weren't even paying attention. I said I wasn't going to pause it, but we're going to go ahead and take a quick look at this. Once again, go to Motorcycle Training Concepts YouTube channel. All right, so what are we going to do? I think he shot him. I think that's what it was. Now, what we need to be doing is rescuing this rider which is gonna be right here, okay? Remain calm, sure your own safety, stop major bleeds if they have any, and quickly assess that severity. So that is a high mechanism of injury, okay? So face into the ground at that speed, yeah. Very high mechanism. All right, be careful out there, my fellow riders. Beautiful area, oh my gosh. Delta Alpha, Alpha is on the road. Okay. Um, watch out for anybody pulling over. Hey, saw the uncommon thing in a common situation. Good job planning for that. Located the hazard and it adapted really quick. I get. I guess I get to have a radio. Watch out. Our lane's moving. Their lane isn't. There's going to be a merge. Uh, so There's going to be a merge problem. Um, brakes, 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 brakes. You get to okay. not have a cell phone. There's the merge problem. That lane was not moving. Our lane was. People want to move over. They want to move over. That's the pattern I want you guys to be looking out for. Plan your ride. Plan your ride. Did a good job keeping a good space cushion. All right, so Vlad Cruiser. The biker didn't adapt the ride to the road conditions. His reaction is... Water, quick, rain. Fall. Okay, you start to have a little bit of a traction loss. Now that is a traction loss and a lot of that front brake. Okay, there could be other factors like worn tires or uh, maybe even gravel on the road. It doesn't have to be the rain just because it's, you know, like that. But watch out, left shoulder injuries. Okay, make sure we are uh, wearing gear because smart riders do acquire and utilize personal protective equipment. Good job lifting it up. We do teach that on Motorcycle Training Concepts YouTube channel. Oh, sorry, man. David Salas became a rookie member. Tesla driver road rages. Hey, Tesla's getting pissed off at another electric vehicle. Interesting. So e-bikes are becoming way more popular. Write in the comments what is the fastest production e-bike because I want to get one. All right, so watch out when you're riding a bike. You almost hit the curb. So that's a Super 73, I believe. And there's this, man. See, this is what I'm saying is like, now we're gonna start seeing more of this. It's very inexpensive to get these types of e-bikes, these scooters. Oh. Too much noise for me, I don't like that. So anyways, it's gonna happen quite a bit more. So I feel like there needs to be some more training. Uh, you could still be a smart rider when it comes to riding an e-bike or even a scooter or, What's your plan, bro? I don't know, a skateboard, electric skateboard. There's, There's many different ways to be safe. Here we go. Now we're back. William Medina. Uh, side of the vehicle already coming into their area. So side of the vehicle is going to put you in orange stage. Honking the horn is not going to be a, a big deal. Um, it's not going to do anything. Moving over is what saved his life. Uh, and I say save his life because it, it could easily be a, a terrible accident. That's gonna... Okay, we got to move on. Anyways, 20 miles an hour. Ram mount. Lost his phone. You guys know why. Okay, link's in the description. So watch out for gravel. Okay, we're gonna do a U-turn here. There's gravel. The reaction of the driver who due to his rage was unable to explain what was the reason for this. Okay. Whoa! Uh-oh, just take off. Don't even acknowledge. Take off, take off. Oh, get a little angry. Uh, we don't know exactly why this happened. We didn't see what happened before this, but when somebody does that, like they pull over, especially when they're gonna go back into their trunk, you need to leave. Take off so that uh, you're not gonna have any issues. Here we go, so we're going through the nice little mounds, 23, 24 miles per hour. Okay, we got a blind curve coming up, so you're gonna put me in orange stage. Any vehicle's gonna, yep, there it is. Good, 
Good job finding that escape path. Very, very good job. A little narrow escape path. Very narrow, but we could do that on motorcycles. All right, so right turn only. Are we gonna take a right turn? Okay, watch out for merging into us. We're in blind spot. We are boxed in. You gotta move yourself out. The, the flipping off people is not gonna do much. Okay, you gotta just go ahead and re, uh, progressively break in that situation. All right, so we're getting boxed in again. Watch out, our lane is moving, their lane isn't. There's that merge issue in the blind spot. So we're starting to see that same pattern of being in the blind spot. Now, I know some people are like, there's no, no such thing as a blind spot. I, okay. Well, maybe for you. So All right, Dave Panini. The road is a racetrack and making a mistake by one of the riders. Quick oh, no. Fall that looks serious. A little too wide. Whoa, high mechanism of injury. Now it's time to rescue another rider. We have to make sure we remain calm so we don't become a victim ourselves. We have to ensure our own safety so we don't want to get hit by anybody else. Oof. And we actually need to call 911. This is a high mechanism of injury. Yes, he is standing up. Oh, what do you guys think that is? What do you guys think that is? Spinal, uh, spinal head injury shock? What do you guys think? More like a head injury, disorientation, loss of balance. Seguro? Yeah. All right, so he's talking, so his airway is working, his lungs are working, his, his blood flow, his, his circulation is working, so he's able to move. Okay, now it's time to ask questions and trying to figure out, hey, is he actually here? He might be disoriented. Sounds like it. I don't know what he's saying. Yeah, he's like, oh my gosh, right? So we have rescue kits. We have a, a rescue kit series on how to use the rescue kit on motorcycle training concepts. You're going to want to check that channel out. Links in the description. We only have two more rescue kits left. Uh, we might be taking pre-orders real soon. All right, so now it's starting to actually hit him. So we got to watch out for his back. Uh, we got to check for any external bleeding. So let's go ahead and expose the patient. Oh, we got to move on. So max risk, R1 crash aftermath. Oh, I didn't watch the original video because he doesn't like me. So we're going to go ahead and pause. Ooh, that's a nice looking Sportster Scrambler there. Remember my Sportster Scrambler? All right, so we got uh, forestry service on scene, so they do have first responder status at least. Uh, so it looks like they might have EMTs. Uh, police is going to be first responders at least. So there's him with his fanny pack. Sorry, Mr. Yeah. He's used to it. He's had 10 plus this year. So is the bike on fire? That's what it was. So the bike's on fire. That's why the forestry service is here. He could have started a, another forest fire here in California. And when I mean here, I'm not in California. I'm Arizona, the better state. All right, so the, what they're doing is doing an assessment. So right now he's talking, like I said. Uh, circulation is fine. Helicopter. So he's going to be airlifted. So there must have been something bad enough to where somebody had to get airlifted. I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know if he got hurt or not. It didn't seem like he did. He was standing up, but it could have been a spinal injury, internal bleeding. Blood pressure could have been dropping. Okay, here we go. Lone Star Rider. Doing some wheelies, you know, out on the main roads. Not very smart, you know. Got to be smart here. Whoa, and that is exactly why he's going to be on the ground. and can't see him because he is wearing all black, so not a smart rider. Make sure you follow the smart rider principles. So everybody else, make sure you dodge him and find that escape path. Okay, you don't want to run into your own buddy. Kind of ruined the mob ride going on. Guys, I don't don't participate in rides like this. I just don't. I missed that too. Just don't. And if you are, sit in the back and go ahead. Use this as a great time to practice your rescue and other rider and your skills. Thanks for watching Tindy. Oh, I you're welcome. Enjoyed it. Moto Stars. The next video. Thank you so much for um, basically curating all these crashes and videos. Uh, these big mob rides, go ahead and, and if you want to, join them, but treat it like it's you're going to work and you're going to be teaching uh, everyone else because you're going to be having the GoPro. You're going to teach everybody how to rescue another rider. It's good practice because there's going to be a crash. There's going to be probably a few. Whew. It's dumb. If you like today's video, make sure you click this video right here to keep watching more. But if you want to become a smart rider, click this and grab this Smart Rider Basic Training eBook. It's gonna help you become a smart rider by planning your ride, rescuing other riders, knowing what patterns to look for, and so much more. Make sure you grab it. Link will be in the description also. I'll be seeing you around.